It's day five here in Canada, and it's already been too rainy, too hot, too cold, windy, very windy, very, very windy. And uh, did I mention it was windy? What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. That's just Eagle Lake for you. Uh, you get a little bit of everything. And along with all of that, we've gotten very high water this year and a late spring. So it's been making things tough, but just in the past couple days, we've gained, depending on the part of the lake you're in, anywhere from five to eight degrees of water temp. So that's definitely helping out. I think it's pushing some of the fish up into the weeds. The fish are definitely there might be fish still spawning, but there's a lot of post-spawn fish because that's what we've been catching. Uh, we can tell by the spawn scars on them. So that's that's it. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. Uh, I don't know what to say after that. So um, Jim and I are going to get fishing. We've got southwest winds, which can be a problem on the section of Eagle Lake that we're on because it's the longest chute for this wind to come down. So we'll see how it treats us today. And yeah, let's get to fishing. All right, still a little breezy today out there on Eagle Lake. I'm gonna start off, uh, we're gonna be fishing some weed rock combos. I'm gonna start throwing a 10 inch Poseidon on a nine foot Shock and Awe 2020 assault stick, 500 tranks with Barbarian Braid and a nice 135 pound Stealth Tackle Leader. Uh, Jim's rocking that 6.75 CXT, or not CXT, Custom X Mini. What am I thinking here? Um, yeah, that's what we're going to start off with today. Uh, we're going to be bopping around to weed rocks, weed rocks, combos, all sorts of stuff just to figure out what's going on after the weather we had yesterday and see if we can get an Eagle Lake musky. There's a fish. Came in kind of lazy. Well, didn't stick with it. Wasn't huge. Did you see it at all? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's cool. First fish on this little piece of heaven here. All right, good. All right, well, we saw one fish on the Poseidon throwing the weed rock combo. Now we're just strictly on weeds. I'm gonna try ripping a mid Dusa with a one ounce deep threat weight on the same nine foot shock and awe that I was throwing the Poseidon on. Jim switched over to a killer corn. Whoa, bucktail. So let's see what we can do. Fish. Nice fish, Jim. Oh, he just came off. Oh, that was a good one. Whew. Shoot, just I just barely had her kind of lip hooked there, I think, was the problem. Whew. That was something. <laughs> oh, shoot. I wish I could have got that one. Oh, man, she just went ass over tea kettle. Oh, that was a big fish, Jim. That was a big one. 
Do you come in slow? Yeah. Okay. I mean, did you get a good look at it? Yeah. yeah. I just looked down on a <laughs> freaking log down there. Oh, they like that uh, Custom X there. Oh, that's cool that we know there's some fish here now. Fish. Okay, okay. Oh, it might be a pike then. But I guess we will find out. Oh, oh it's a big old pike. <laughs> yep. Spot locker here. <laughs> That's a dandy of a pike. Uh, it might be a 40 incher, Jim. He might be. I bet he's 38. All right, we got Jim's upper 30 inch pike here. Beautiful Eagle Lake pike. All right, Jim, see if you can get her back in the water there. All right, there we go. Let's see if she'll right herself. She'll right her, there she goes, there she goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep, a little bit easier to get the fish back in for you then. All right, well, uh, I might as well do a midday update right now. We went in after I lost a big muskie this morning. We saw a couple. We found a new spot that seems to be holding fish. That's what we're fishing right now. So, um, and we saw a couple here. Started things off with a big pike, and that was only, we did one full drift. We're doing the second one right now. So we're gonna get back to it. And hopefully this continues because we had some other guys in camp that we're seeing some really big fish in some weed spots. So I think that is the plan for the day is diving rises and crankbaits in the weeds. There's a fish. Shoot. <laughs> he kind of, he came up like he got stuck in the wave and didn't know what the heck was going on then just shot off. All right, well, that's, that's good. Well, despite my belly aching at the intro of this video, we've ended up with a very nice day here on Eagle Lake. Unfortunately, the muskies didn't care. <laughs> and, uh, decided not to show up. I don't, how many did we see after noon? Two? Yeah. Two fish after after we went in um, for our lunch break and to rest up a little bit. So um, we had other guys out here fishing similar spots, actually a really long stretch and they were seeing fish on Navens. So I was throwing one of those. Uh, they were seeing fish on Poseidons. In fact, they saw some really nice fish. That's why it was a little bit of a bummer. Um, this area, it has the best weeds in the lake right now, it has some of the warmest water in the lake, so there's definitely fish there. We just 
could not get them to move. But we do have two days left. I don't know what the weather's supposed to do. Do you remember? Uh, windy and humid tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> 30. <laughs> so uh, 30 Celsius, which is 654, 86 Fahrenheit. So uh, we've got a little bit of a warm day coming up. It should help warm the water up, which is not a bad thing in the springtime. I'm guessing weeds again. We didn't really fish many rock spots. We ended on one tonight and didn't see anything. So five days in and we're still figuring this stuff out, folks. Just because you come to Canada doesn't mean the fish are going to jump in the boat. And I've had so many people say, oh, with the two years off with COVID, the fish will be jumping in the boat too. Mm -mm. There's tens of thousands of years of evolution that have made muskies jerks. And two years ain't going to fix it. So that's what we've been finding out. With that, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to go in. We're going to get some rest. We're going to do it all over again tomorrow. So thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you on the next video.